Report to you live here at the famous holiday decorated house here on Kingston Road in Scarborough. It's live from last week, episode 157. Let's go! my fellow G-Walkers to another episode of Laugh from last week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless point before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. First of all, just throwing it back to yesterday when I was downtown strolling around the Eaton Center area while walking around in the rain. This is what happened. My boots that I was wearing that I've had for years, even using them for the New Year's Day polar bear dip last year, had finally appeared like they've fallen apart and have obviously seen better days. But now on to today where the wife and I went on a little double date at a place that we have enjoyed eating at before with a couple that I haven't been able to hang out with since we did Ace with them last year, having dinner at Scarborough's Sushi Legend with the one and only Andrea and Jake with all of this delicious food served by more of these robot sushi servers. Hi sushi robots. Hi. And afterwards we went to the Pickering Town Center to the Cineplex movie theater there to check out a screening of this Studio Ghibli flick called The Boy and the Heron which we all liked but I honestly thought was pretty interesting to say the least. But one feature of this theater that was definitely a new experience for me was using these mechanical reclining chairs that I was trying out, able to slowly adjust them to my own personal preferences. But now being back at the condo to wrap up the night, we just have a quick birthday greeting to one of my Ryerson classmates who I used to visit at Shoppers when she worked there at the Eaton Center back when we were in university. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jana. Happy birthday, Jana. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my longtime beach volleyball friends who has made previous Live From Last Week cameos in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Roxy. Happy birthday, Roxy. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After minimal sleep and getting up early to drive the wife to work this morning, I passed out once again only to look out my window and just like previous times in the past, watch these pigeons put a nice air show on for me. But this time I was able to get a front row seat to watch these guys just chilling on the window ledge outside my condo as you guys can see here until they spotted me, got scared and started to fly away. Bye little pigeons. Anyways guys, later on this evening, we've got a nice little meetup of my coworkers at a local pub in downtown Toronto. But before we do that, we got a quick birthday greeting to one of my volleyball friends who I'm remembering playing alongside with over a decade ago. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Joyce. Happy birthday, Joyce. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my Titos out there who you guys remember, I attended their citizenship ceremony back a couple months ago. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tito Ronil. Happy birthday, Tito Ronil. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But now, on to the main event of the night. After going to a local store to buy some surprise holiday gifts for them, we're off to the Pogma home in downtown Toronto to celebrate a nice holiday gathering outside of work with my co-workers.
So after a fun evening outing with my coworkers outside of work that I haven't seen or hung out with in a long time, where, while wow, wearing this little getup, I did this dressing up just like Santa and handing out some gifts to everybody around the table. It looked like we really enjoyed ourselves a lot during this holiday gathering. But on to today, after waking up early to drop off the wife downtown for her day shift and filling up the mini on gas that is more or less regular priced compared to the gas prices and their limited time deals that we just saw last week. We are at December 21st, officially the shortest day of the year. Where I also want to welcome y'all to the first official full day of winter. Happy first day of winter, guys! Anyways, spending all day pretty much just wrapping up gifts and getting the condo a little bit more ready for the holiday season. I'm off to go back downtown this evening to pick up the wife from her day shift before the night is done. So last night before picking up the wife, guess who, for the first time since it was unseasonably warm when it should have been chilly outside, got some too good to go from one of their favorite places, the good old Tagpuan in Scarborough. As well as slacking not working out on all of their days off, I hopped on the stationary bike for a nice little workout in the dark last night. Anyways, today, before starting a stretch of five shifts in the next seven nights, doing seven shifts in the next 11 days over the holidays, we first got a birthday shout out to one of my former co-workers out there. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Lauren. Happy birthday, Lauren. We next got a birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends who I've known over the years who has improved her skills year after year. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Teresa. Happy birthday, Teresa. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my cousins out there who I have visited several times at work in the past and who has made several cameos on previous Live From Last Week episodes. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Warma. Happy birthday, Warma. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After trying to catch up on some gift wrapping prior to my night shift last night, just like I have with me this evening with my newly bought Santa hat on, on my way making my evening commute to work, we visited a place in Scarborough known for their festive decorations during the holiday seasons on their front lawn, a place that I've been to numerous times in the past, to check out their Christmas season display and their lights decorated on their front yard. Then, during my night shift, just like previous episodes where I found boxes of goodies in the break room, guess who found some of their favorite baked goods last night in the back room and couldn't resist but to chow down on some of them while nobody was looking. But anyways, coming home this morning to the condo where I found some of our friends napping in the living room, I got my breakfast cereal ready to eat trying to be sneaky in the kitchen as to not wake up our guests from their sleep. And today, after getting a decent post-night shift nap in, the wife and I made our way to the uptown Toronto area near Young and Lawrence to stop by a local meat shop where we picked up a meat package for one of our friends who you guys know we've seen earlier this week, dropping it off at Andrea's place while playing with her little pet cats here during our visit. But anyways, before I go on for my second of my scheduled two night shifts tonight, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my FSAT friends out there who I'm remembering hanging out with when she was back at U of T. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Micah. Happy birthday, Micah. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So having this Sunday off for the Christmas break here, I went to the Sunday morning Catholic service at the local Our Lady of Lords downtown prior to going back to the condo to see this surprise that the wife got us for Christmas. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, uh, what is it called?
with a throwback to our experiences in Japan. With several features including a seat warmer, we got our first ever and our very own toilet seat bed day. And after getting a quick post night shift napping because I was too excited to use it, I actually got to try it out. The only thing is, once I was able to turn on the jets for a quick clean, guess who forgot to ask the wife for the manual on how to turn these cleaning jets off? Ooh, okay, you can stop. So after being 100% sure that I was squeaky clean down there, after several minutes with the jets on, how do I get up from this without having it splash everywhere. How do you make it stop? And panicking, pressing multiple buttons on the remote control. Probably should have read the instructions before I did this. I just decided to press the power button to turn the whole thing off. <laughs> Oh my gosh, after six minutes, I just turned it off. Anywho, planning to go to two separate Christmas Eve celebrations, just like we did last year, and trying to track Santa on his several gift deliveries for Christmas Eve online, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my cousins out there who has made cameos in several Live From Last Week episodes and with whom I went to Chicago to Lollapalooza with to see new jeans in the summer. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Elrond. Happy birthday, Elrond. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Now, on to first going all the way to Saga to spend some time on Christmas Eve with the in-laws and the family. <laughs> Ready, one, two, three, Merry Christmas! And later in the evening, make the crosstown trek all the way to Scarborough to spend some time with my family and celebrate Christmas Eve once again at 52. First of all, I wanted to wish everybody out there a Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, guys! And on that note, I have a quick birthday shout out to the one and only Baby Jesus! Happy birthday, Baby Jesus! I'm hoping that everybody out there that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year! Now, moving on, anybody that's hoping for a white Christmas this year, is unfortunately getting a foggy Christmas instead. I mean like, just check out these dangerous foggy-like conditions that we were driving in last night that we encountered all along the 401 coming from Saga all the way to Scarborough. And guys, to be honest, I've never ever seen a fog so dense while driving on these highways before. Where is the exit? Where is this exit? And by the way, check out how the view looked from the condo last night to how it looked like a couple hours ago 
just this morning. And speaking of this AM, while we were all opening our gifts at 52 just after midnight, it had dawned on me that I had forgot the sister and Andrew's Christmas gift at the condo here last night. Sorry sis. So the only thing I can do is hope that in a future Laugh From Last Week episode, I'll be able to hand over this present for her as a late belated Christmas gift. But going back to last night's events, where we did a secret slash stealing Santa gift exchange at 52, with the stipulation that if you wanted to steal a gift from somebody else, you had to take a shot. But the person that had their gift targeted could block the person stealing their gift by taking one plus an extra shot for two shots in total. But if the stealer really, really wanted to steal the gift from them, they would have to take the number of shots that the targeted person had taken, plus the extra shot for the challenge, and so on and so on. So when the time came up to my turn, where I chose to steal my cousin Ray's gift, a large box of Ferrero Rocher and a $25 LCBO card, after several rounds of shots, this guy was so competitive that he wouldn't even give up his gift. Technically and literally going shot for shot with me. But what he didn't know was that that was a strategy to get him to drink and it turned out afterwards that I just decided to get a gift from the Secret Santa gift pile. So if I don't take it, then I can just pick a gift, right? Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to see him drink. <laughs> I don't really want this. <laughs> Which, after I opened it, <laughs> turned out to be a Ferrero Rocher box of chocolates, anyways. Oh my god. <laughs> But anyways guys, on to today, where later on this evening, the wife and I are going in for a night shift for this holiday. We're planning to go to our third Christmas gathering in a span of less than 24 hours at our Atesha's place in Richmond Hill pre-shift to spend quality time with the nephew and the family at the condo, just like we did several weeks back. Do you want my <laughs> and guys, as I go in for one Christmas night shift that I had picked up, with something I've done multiple times in previous years past, hoping to do and surprise some of my coworkers at work, dressing up as Santa and handing out gifts to the night shift staff working Christmas night, we will just wrap up this week's Laugh From Last Week episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.